Getting answers true crime nearly 50 years after his death murdered altar boy Danny Croto is laid to rest a second time today at Hillcrest Park Cemetery family and friends gathered to have a new ceremony about a month after law enforcement announced their plans to arrest the boy's priest for the crime. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo spoke with Danny Croto's brother. She joins us live now in Springfield with more Audrey. Defrocked priest Richard Levine died before the Hamden DA could arrest him for the 49-year-old murder case. However, Danny Croto's family says today was still symbolic. Joseph Croto tells Western Mass News he didn't think his family would have the chance to eulogize his brother Danny a second time. He also didn't think law enforcement would ever be able to convict the 13-year-old's killer nearly 50 years later. The man law enforcement says murdered the altar boy was Catholic priest Richard Levine, who died last month after contracting COVID-19 and before charges could be filed. He was the person who identified my, my brother's body. He um, deceived my parents into thinking that we couldn't have an open casket at that. Then he presided over the funeral mass. And this time the priest presiding over the ceremony was one who stood up to the Springfield Catholic Diocese in the early 2000s. James Scahill and his parishioners sought to expose child sex abuse in the region. The fact that someone who is in his position at his stage in life who had everything to lose, he stood up against an organization that's been able to get away with a lot and that's impressive. Another thing bringing the Croto family peace the notion that Danny's spirit isn't alone. He's with my parents right now. I think he's given him a hug and a kiss, my two brothers, and they finally rest in peace. I can't ask for any more than that. Levine was later defrocked in the early 2000s following a conviction for child sex abuse involving different children. Live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.